What's up, friends? Welcome, welcome. Get started in about five minutes. Gonna want a block if you have one, maybe a towel, maybe a pillow for class tonight. And we are gonna be against the wall, so position your mat there. Be right back.
Okay. Good evening, friends. Welcome to Yin uh, with the Wall tonight. My name is Carlos. I'm taking you guys through practice. Uh, we are going to actually start this class standing. So come to the front of your Make sure again your mat is against the wall. If you have a block, uh, the block. Maybe you want a towel, maybe a pillow. It might be useful throughout the practice. And just make your way up to the top of your mat. Feet, hip width apart. Let your arms relax. Close your eyes. Take a second there, just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, rock your ankles side to side a couple times. And then rock your weight front to back a couple times, into the toes, into the heels. Find your center there. Let your chin drop to your chest and in slow motion begin to circle out your neck. Whatever direction you want to start with is fine. Just circle it out nice and slow. Notice any kinks in there, any tight spots. Next time you get to the front, reverse your circle. Next time you get to the front, bring your head back up to neutral. Shrug your shoulders up, back, and down a few times. Go the other way. And let that go. Sweep your arms up into the air. With your palms facing, relax the shoulders. They don't need to be close, just let the arms be up. And then just gently rotate the body from side to side. Just rotate side to side with the arms up, but the shoulders are soft. See it, take it as far as your body can in each direction. Okay, and then pause in the middle. Interlace the fingers and press the palms up to the ceiling, fingers interlaced. And then just begin to lean from side to side. Right, left. Starting to push the hips out. So focus on just the hip drive more than anything else. Let the hips pushing out create the sensation. Here we come back to center. Let's separate the hands, look up, chin up, soften shoulders. Hips forward, drop your head back, let your arms pull back a little bit, which so is a gentle back bend. Stay there, breathe in. As you exhale, soft your knees and just fold forward. Let your hands drop to the ground, drop your head. Once your fingers touch the ground, knees bend as much as you need. Straighten the right leg and bend the left knee more. Keep both feet flat, and then switch that out. Left leg straight, bend the right knee a lot. And just go back and forth a couple times, feeling out the hamstrings, feeling out through your lower back. Soften through your shoulders, drop your head, let the neck relax. Good. And pause with your right leg straight, left knee bent, and then walk your hands over to the right, and let your weight just hang over the right leg. So getting a little deeper stretch, just focus on the right leg here. Slight rotation, hands walking to the right side. And slowly soften the right knee, bring your hands back through center, all the way over to your left side. As your left leg goes straight, the right knee bends more, and then drop heavy over your left leg. Relax And soften the left knee, walk your hands back to center, take your breath in, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And just fold on the exhale. 
As you inhale, reverse one, now stand up tall. Then the exhale, pause right there, soft shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest. Push hips forward, tuck your tailbone down. And then lift the belly and the chest, keep the chin on the chest and pull your arms back as far as they can go. So let the arms pulling back, create the upper back stretch, hips going forward as you tuck the tail. And with the chin lift up and just breathe. It's not a super intense back, but it's a bit of a back bend here, but the focus is the arms pulling back so you can feel that pull through your lower rib cage and keep that lower rib cage hugging in so the ribs are not flaring out as you pull the arms back, creating a bit of opposition to increase the sensation, increase the stretch. Good, now as you inhale, come out of that stand up tall. On the exhale, take your hands behind your back and interlace all 10 fingers behind the back. Once you have that, roll the shoulders back, pull the hands down. Bend your knees a good six inches, a nice bend to the knees. Shoulders back more. Drop your belly into your thighs. Keep the knees bent a lot. Drop your chest, drop your head, look between your legs, and then pull your hands far over the back with straight arms and the hands closed. So you might need to take them back a little bit softer so you can get the hands to close, shoulders roll back, and you pull away. Finding your range there, it might, be very, might not be very far, but that's okay. Let the head drop more, lift your butt up a little more and pull the hands a little further. Take one more inhale there. On the exhale, release them down. If your feet are close to the front, take your feet about a foot back. From there, as you inhale, lift your heels high as you can. On the exhale, drop your butt down to your heels, look forward. Bring your knees to the ground, knees together, keep the toes tucked, bring the big toes together, and have a seat on the heels, getting a little toe stretch here first. Sit up tall, let your hands rest into your lap. Shoulders roll back, spine is tall. Now as the toes stretch, we're gonna get the right side of your neck to stretch, take an inhale, lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Once you have that, let your right hand release down by your side, on the right side. Just let it relax. Hand fall down with a hand. Soften the left shoulder more. Keep letting your head hang heavy. Breathe deep there. Eyes closed. In this practice, just focus on big inhales and full exhales. In through nose. Maybe out through your mouth or nose up to you. Now as you inhale, let your head come back up. Bring the right hand to your lap. As you exhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder so you get into the left side of your neck. Once you have that, drop your left arm down by the side. Let the arm just hang. Just right shoulder more soft. And then keep dropping the head and breathe. Inhale, your head comes back up, hands to your lap as you exhale. Release the hands in front of you, find the tabletop just to tap on the feet for a second. Shake out the feet. Good. And then from there, have a seat on your shins with your knees and ankles together. Coming into embryo, just try to relax the lower back here. Let your hands rest by your feet, palms up. Drop your chin to your chest. Let your back press back. As you start to round down, keep the chin on chest, belly hugs in, hands sliding back as you're rounding down. Wherever your head lands is fine, but keep your butt down. If your head doesn't get to the mat, maybe you put a block underneath forehead or the top of your head, focusing on the round spine. And let yourself just sink into it, breathe deep into your lower back.
Three more rounds of breath here. On an inhale, slowly uncurl the spine up. Now we're going to take our feet back to the wall. So just walk your knees back until your toes touch the wall with long ankles. And then stand up on your shins. So we're going to use this wall to support us in a back bend here. If you can easily get your hands to the wall, you'll bring the knees further forward, feet away from the wall. But this is a good starting point. So from here, take the arms up again. Soften the shoulders. Tuck the tail. Hips forward, lift the belly and the chest. Start to look back and reach back for that wall with your fingertips, probably the middle finger and index finger. Keep taking the arms back as much as they can. Hips go forward, tail goes down. If you can touch the wall, you're gently pressing away through your fingers to help increase the stretch. And you're trying to walk those fingers eventually further down the wall as you're pressing the hips away. Breathe into the back bend there. Depending on your flexibility, your hands might be higher, might be lower. You're trying to get lower one breath at a time. One more full inhale. Full exhale. Slowly make your way off the wall. Hands come back down. Cross your ankles behind you. Sit your butt back so that your spine is against the wall. So you might give it just there. Get both butt cheeks to the ground. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your right leg in front. Cross the left ankle under. And then just an e uh, easy one here. Just place the sole of your right foot into the crease of your left calf and hamstring. So it's just resting there. Sit up tall. So a gentle right hip stretch, we're also going to get into this right shoulder. If you're very opening the hips and you need more, you're welcome to bring the foot on top of the inner left knee if you need, but only if you have really open hips. And then from there, send your right arm out, thumb down. Lean forward, you swing the right arm behind your back. Start to walk the right hand up your spine as best you can. Think middle finger towards your neck. And then sit up nice and tall and let your palm and your right elbow push back towards the wall. And keep rolling the right shoulder back and breathe there. So you're letting your weight lean into the arm there. The higher the hand can go up the spine, the better, but the, with the back of the hand on the spine and the palm on the wall. And if you can't get the hand very high, that's okay. If you're working towards that, the focus just opening up this right shoulder. Close your eyes, breathe deep. Keep softening into the right hip as well. One more, step, one more breath in. And a full breath out. Let your chin drop to your chest. Lean forward to release the arm. Send it out. Circle out a couple times. Loosen up. And then send the right arm straight up. From there, drop the right hand behind your head. Think. Hand to the neck. Left hand comes up. Pull on the elbow. Stretching into the tricep. And then again, sit up tall. So press back of the head into the forearm as you're pulling down. Keep lengthening through your spine.
Okay, just one more inhale there. Full exhale. And gently release that arm down. Deepening into the hips. So if you have the foot to the crease of the calf and hamstring, now bring that foot up to the inner knee. Try pushing the left shin more forward and see if you can get the shins more stacked. More like my arms than like my legs. But if you're on the tighter side, the foot can go more to the inner thigh as opposed to the knee. Bottom foot a little more in, that should help you drop a little bit. So that nice and tall, take an inhale length. On the exhale, just walk both hands straight forward. Try to drop down to the elbows if you can. If not, maybe it's forearms to your shin and you rest there. Or use a block if you want for your head. Take it down as deep as you can, just relax. Make sure that you don't have to feel like your right butt cheek is not lifting. It stays grounded so you stay centered. And just breathe there. You got two minutes here. Full inhales, full exhales. Relax there. Three more cycles of breath. And inhale, slowly come up. Keep your legs how they are. Bring your hands over to your right. So lift your torso, twist to the right, and the legs stay where they are. Inhale, length. Exhale, walk the hands out to the right. Try to crawl the left hand further. And then work to drop the left elbow closer to the ground. Lean into the stretch onto the side. Still getting right hip, but also getting some left side body rotation. Slowly come back on your center. Kick your right leg out. Shake it out for a second. Kick your left leg out. Shake that out. 
And now the right leg comes in. Left foot to the crease of the calf and hamstring. So making it easy first. Sit up tall. But if you're super open, you need more, you can place the foot to the inner thigh or your knee. And then you're going to slightly lean forward, take your left arm out, thumb down, swing your left arm behind the back. It helps to lean left a little bit so you can crawl the hand up higher, middle finger on the spine. And then sit up tall, center up, palm to the wall, left elbow to the wall, sit up as tall as you can. Roll back to the left shoulder and just breathe. Right arm is relaxed. As you work through the practice, just try to close your eyes as much as possible and really tune in to the breath. Noticing the pace, noticing the depth. Try to keep it slow and make it long. Wherever you're feeling the sensations in the body and the postures, you want to send every inhale into those bits of tension, those pockets of tension, so that when you exhale, there's more space and it begins to release. One more breath in, full breath out, let your chin drop, release the left arm out, shake it out a couple times, and then send the left arm straight up, drop the hand to the base of your neck, right hand comes to left elbow, and you pull down while lengthening spine up, keep crawling the hand down. So now back of the hands on the wall, forearms against the wall, and you're pulling with your right hand to create the sensation. Focusing on the tricep and a little bit into your lats. One more inhale. Full exhale. Gently release. Deepening into the hip. So try to bring the foot outside of ankle to the inner knee. Bottom shin more forward. Left knee drops. If it's not going to drop, you can try bringing that foot a little more to the inner thigh. Right foot in more. Maybe that's enough for it to fall. Sit up tall. Inhale. And then the exhale, just walk the hands forward. If you can't get the elbows to the ground, you can always rest forearms to the shin if you need. Or use a block for the hip. Relax there. Take it as deep as you can. We've got two minutes here.
three more cycles of breath. Inhale, bring you back up. Twist over to your left now. Take an inhale, lengthen up. Just exhale, walk the hands out to the left. Try to get the right hand further. And drop towards the right elbow if you can. If you got the right elbow down, then the left elbow as well. Just lean into that. Breathing into right side body as you keep breathing into left hip. The inhale, slowly come back up. As you exhale, extend the left leg out. Shake it out for a second. And then the right leg out, shake it out. And the last one here. Open the legs a little wider. Sit up nice and tall. Hands come in front of you. We're going to loosen here first. So flex the toes back and out just a little bit. I want to keep it a little softer to your knees. Inhale, lengthen up. Keep the hands in front of you. As you actually slide the hands forward along the mat, drop your head. Now three times. Inhale, slide the hands back, lift back up. And again, exhale, slide forward. Again, in. And out a little further each time. One more in and out. But once you get all the way out, drop your elbows down. If you need to slide the hands back, that's fine. So the elbows come down, turn the palms up, relax your shoulders, and let your head just drop. Notice if the feet are starting to turn in. If they are, Gently turn the toes out a little bit so they're more square. A subtle hug back on the hips as you pull into the inner thighs and then drop through your chest. Take three deep breaths. And at the end of your third breath, just let everything relax and do whatever it does. If the toes fall in, that's okay, but after that third breath, Everything relax and just breathe. Three more cycles of breath. So come back up. And you get up, draw your left leg in. Draw the right leg in, rock forward onto your hands and knees. 
And we get one more back bend here to counteract with those forward folds. So again, maybe it's toes touching the wall. If you're really flexible, you can bring the feet a little further away from the wall. Stand up on the shins. Once you're up, tuck the tail, lift the belly. Arms up, soft shoulders. Drive hips forward first. Pull the arms back. Chin goes up and then you find the wall as best you can. Once your fingers touch, gently push away. Hips more forward and try to walk the hands further down if you can and keep pushing away. Breathe that. Let your inhale slowly bring you up. Hands come down on the exhale. And we're going to get into the right quadricep. So take your right shin to the wall. So knee all the way at the bottom. Your foot is up the wall. You're going to give a block. You want to bring that block off to your right side for this one. Your left foot swings up forward so you're in a lunge. Right, so left foot comes forward, get the left ankle below the left knee, let the hips sink forward. You can have both hands inside the left foot for a moment. As the hips sink forward, lift your chest up, look forward. Stay there, inhale. Keep the hands there. Actually, just push your butt back and drop your head down. It's not a very big move, just a small move there, loose, just release the tension. And then inhale, come back forward, lift your heart up, let the hips sink. Exhale, push back. Two more like that. In. And out. One more. In. And out. Good. Inhale back forward. Keep the right hand flat. Roll to the outside of your left foot. Take the left hand to the inner thigh. Push the skin out and then press the inner thigh away as you look over your left shoulder and twist. Now notice if your hips feel like they're sinking to the right, bring them back into the middle, push that left leg open wider as you rotate, push away with your right hand, lift through your chest. One more inhale like that. Full breath out. Release the hand back down. Now bring the left foot into the middle. Slide the left foot further forward. Flex the toes back and find a half split. So the hips are slightly pushing back towards the wall. Left leg is straight. Flex the toes back. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, just drop the head, soften the shoulders, and breathe here. Not here very long, just getting a little left hamstring stretch before we go deeper into this right quadricep. Come back up to your hands. Slowly begin to slide that left foot back. Into your lunge position. Now you want to push your hips to the wall. So push your butt back. This is where you might need your block under the right hand. Left hand to left thigh. Using the right hand, push yourself up. And you're trying to get up as tall as you can. Trying to get your back to the wall, possibly. So you've got a straight line here to your right side. If you can't get all the way, it's okay. Use the block of support, but you're lifting from the base of the knee up through your thigh up through your plexer, up through your right side belly. Breathe there. If you're all the way up, you have the option to take one or both arms up, creating more length for the spine, a little tuck of the tail, keep lifting through your right quad. If this is a lot of pressure on your right foot, you can always put a towel on the right foot as cushion against the wall so it's not so intense on the bony part of the foot there. So five cycles of breath here. That should take you a minute. Breathe slow. Six second inhale, six second exhales.
One more cycle of breath. Gently release forward. Listen close, the hands come down. Drop your right foot to the left so that the right shin lowers to the ground and it's against the wall. From there, push your right hip to the wall, left hand to the left knees, and lift on up. So now you got your left foot forward, left ankles intersecting, right about the middle of the calf, and then reach your right arm to the sky. Bring your entire right side to the wall, so your chest is facing over to the right. Place your left arm inside the left knee and help let that help push the knee open so you keep that knee and hip in line. Inhale, reach up taller to the right, stretch your right side up. And as you exhale, lean left. Begin to reach out of your right fingers and turn your chest open up to the sky a little bit. Keep the right hip on the wall, but the rest of the upper body, the torso, comes away from the wall. And breathe into the right side. Feel free to let the right arm bend and the hand drop as the forearm goes across the head, possibly. Just be heavy there as you breathe into your right side body. Let your inhale bring you back up. As you exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Keep your right leg where it is. Bring your left knee to the ground. And then begin to slide your left leg out. Get the left knee to go as wide as you can. Listen close here. Once as wide as you can, bring your big toes together behind you. So the right knee still against the wall, left knee's out wide, push the hips back, it's a wide knee child's pose, and then drop down to the elbows, maybe all the way to the forehead, let the hips sink back as you melt. Breathe there. Trying to make this as wide as you can so you feel a lot of inner thigh and groin stretch. Three more breaths. Use your inhale to help come back up. Slowly begin to draw the knees together into the middle. Turn your body to your left so you're facing the front of your mat. And we'll work into the other side now. So the left shin goes against the wall, knees on the ground. Once you got that, you're gonna swing the right foot forward this time. Bring it out and around. Let the hips sink forward, hands are flat. Make sure it's right ankle and right knee stacked. Inhale, lift your chest up, look forward. On the exhale, just press your butt back, drop your head. It's not a big movement, just find your range there. Inhale forward, hips sink. Exhale, push back, hips back. Two more, in, out. One more, in, and out. Inhale forward, stay there as you exhale. 
Roll to the outside of the right foot, right hand to the inner thigh, push the knee away. Look over your right shoulder, twist. Push up with your left hand. Make sure the hips aren't sinking left. Keep the hips centered and push the knee open wider as you open up the inner thigh and run to the right side. One more inhale, full exhale, release the hand back down, walk the right foot into the middle, and begin to slide that right foot forward for a half split. Flex the toes back, hug the hip back. Take an inhale length, and the exhale just melt forward, dropping into a fold, be heavy there. Focus is just the right hamstring now. Slowly bring your head up, start to slide that right foot back, take it out a little bit, push the hips towards the wall, you want to bring that block down to your left hand, right hand comes to the right knee, start to rise up. So if you feel like this side is any tighter and you can't get your butt closer to the wall, you can always take the knee a little further away from the wall to make it a little easier, a little less stress there. Try to get as tall as you can, still working your upper back towards the wall. Maybe the arms want to go up, maybe they don't. But you're trying to have, ideally, your entire left shin against the wall and most of your spine pressing to the wall with the hips against the wall. Breathe here. Three more breaths. And then release the hands down. Left foot slides to the right. So now left shins against the wall. Walk the right foot more to the left. Rise on up. So that right heel should intersect about the middle of the left calf. Left arm goes up, chest turns left, right arm inside of the right knee. That's when you use the push out to keep the right knee and right hip in line. Inhale, reach up taller, lengthen the left side. Exhale, lean to the right. Keep the left hip kissing the wall, but then everything else peels away from the obliques all the way up to your lap. Let the head drop. Maybe let the left elbow bend, the hand fall heavy. And just breathe into your left side.
Let your inhale bring you back up. On the exhale, release the hands down. Bring your right knee down. So again, left shin stays against the wall. Crawl the right knee out as wide as you can. Drop down to elbows or all the way down to your chest. Breathe there. The pressing back of the hip should increase the sensation. So make sure you're not letting the weight dump too far forward. You want to keep the, the sit bones pressing back as you sink into it. Slowly begin to come back up. Draw the knees together. Find a seat on your butt. Now we're going to come onto our back with our legs at the wall. So bring your hips close to the wall. Scoot to one side of your mat. Start to lower to your back as you swing your legs up. Center yourself. Get your glutes to touch the wall. Back the legs against the wall and the legs are high. Once you got that, you can shake the legs a couple of times side to side there. Flex and point the toes a few times. Just relax the arms. Just neutralize for a second. Let the legs be heavy. Spine relax from your neck to your tail. Here, bend your left knee, left knee flat, or left foot flat. Cross the right ankle over your left thigh, finding a figure four. And then notice if the butt had to lift to create that figure four. If it had to, you're going to want to slide a little further away from the wall so you can keep that left foot flat. Sink the hips down. Try to get your entire lower back flat to the ground. And just breathe into that figure four stretch there, still focusing on the right hip. If you can get the left heel as low as the left knee, go ahead, but that might be too far, so just assess. Full expression is going to be glutes touching wall, left heel, left knee in line with a nice figure four, right leg on top.
slowly. Start to slide the left foot up the wall, and then slide the right leg off. If you came off the wall, get your butt back to the wall. If you have a block, you may want to use your block for this one here. Keep the right leg where it is. Let your left leg fall all the way open to your left. And then let the right leg fall to meet it. If the right leg can't make it to your left, you can put that block between the inner calves or the inner thighs, or it feels better. And once you have that, you'll want to readjust your spine. So slide your torso a little more left, left shoulder relaxed, chin to the right, right arm out, and breathe into the twist. Full inhales, full exhales. So ideally here you have your spine in line from the tailbone to the neck, straight down to the knees. You have both arms out wide, both shoulders on the ground, and your legs together with your left leg on the ground. With time, that right leg should melt deeper into left leg. So if you're using a support in between, as you breathe, you might notice it feels easier. You might want to take that support to a lower level if it's available. But what you're trying to find is a nice stretch pull into the outer right hip. while the spine rotates and relaxes. Slowly, head comes up first, lift the right leg back up, and then bring the left leg to meet the right. Take a second, neutralize. And then you're going to bend the right knee so the right foot comes flat to the wall, find that first. And then figure four, left ankle over the right thigh, and my head lift the butt to get there. Once you have it and you let the hips sink down, if they won't get back to the ground, slide a bit away from the wall, letting the hips soften down. Left knee opens wide and breathe into that left glute. If you have any adjustments to make, take care of them. Again, the end of the result of this posture would be glutes touching wall, entire spine flat, right heel as low as the right knee with your figure four. But that might not be accessible today.
One more full inhale. Full exhale. Start to slide right foot up the wall. Then take the left leg up. If you need to, get the hips back to the wall. And then from there, you're going to let your right leg open all the way out to the right until it falls to the ground. And then bring the left leg to it. You might need to put that block in between the calves or the inner thighs. Once you have that, readjust the spine. So slide the entire, our entire torso a little more to the right. Relax your Right arm out, left shoulder down, left arm out, chin falls left. And just be heavy and breathe there. As you relax, if you're using the support between your legs, you can work on lowering it as it's needed. Obviously, trying to have those legs stacked without forcing it. Bring your chin up first. Take your time, lift your left leg up. Then bring the right leg up. Make any adjustments to neutralize there. And the last posture before we're done. The butterfly the lift knees, soles of the feet together. Draw the heels nice and low. To start, Use both hands to press the knee, the outer knee, press into inner knees, so you're trying to get the outer knees closer to the wall. Take three breaths there as you press. Then let that go, arms relaxed. If you feel like the heels are too low, you can take them up a little bit, take some of the pressure out, but just breathe there.
Three more breaths here. Pull your shavasana, you can either just take the legs back up the wall, straight legs, let them be slightly apart and relax there, or you can go into a traditional shavasana. Arms out somewhere, palms up, eyes closed. Once you have everything there, focus on the breath. Taking it very slow, quiet, and deep and full. Begin to count the inhales and the exhales, starting with six seconds in, six seconds out. Add a two second pause in between. And either increase that by increments of one or increments of two on the inhale and the exhale, always having two seconds of pause in between the breath. Just focus on that, taking the count as high as you can go until you just forget about it. Maybe you fall asleep, who knows? Just tune into the breath. Allow yourself to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you please. When you decide the time is right to reawaken, just do so slowly and quiet. No rush. Thank you for making the time to step onto your mat this evening. Forgive this time to yourself and allow me to guide you. To meet again, I buy for respect, honor, and admiration for each and all of you. My soul acknowledges your soul. Namaste. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night. And I will see you guys tomorrow, 12 noon, Yoga Sculpts. Talk to you then.